want to develop a child's handwriting ability, it's important to review these three aspects first, their posture, their paper, and their pencil grip. I'll go into these in further detail. Here you can see the ideal posture when seated to write. Your child's hips, knees and ankles should be approximately 90 degrees as seen here. Their feet should be flat on the floor or flat on a footrest. The table height should be approximately two inches below their elbow and their head should be in midline with their body. The position of the piece of paper that your child is writing on can also influence their ability to write. It's important to note that people who write with their left hand should place the top left hand corner higher than the right, whereas people who write with their right hand should place the right top corner higher than the left top corner. It's also important to note that left-handed writers should be seated to the left of right-handers as this can make it more comfortable to write for both children. On your screen is an example of a typical dynamic tripod grip. This grip is an efficient grip that should allow children to write for extended periods of time without fatigue or pain. You can see the rounded aspect of the hand, the curves of their fingers, the tip contact that's happening between their fingers and the pencil, and the pencil is resting in between the web space. On your screen, you can see two other types of pencil grasp other than the tripod grasp that are functional for many people that write. That includes the quadrupod grasp and the adaptive tripod grasp. As long as your child feels comfortable writing, doesn't fatigue and can keep up with its peers, there may be no need to change their grip. If we notice that a child has a grip that is interfering with their ability to write, we have to think, how do we improve this pencil grasp? If their grasp is not interfering with their ability to keep up with their class, to write legibly, or is not causing them discomfort, there is no need to change it. Here on your screen, you can see some examples of pencil grips. And in some children, this will be useful, but it can be useful to mark on the pencil or pen where a child should hold it in case they're holding it too far or too close to the nib. Some children adopt a better grasp when they use a shorter pencil or hold a triangular shaped pencil. Writing on a vertical surface also helps as it encourages wrist extension and avoids hooking. Other children who may extend their other two fingers while writing can benefit from practicing holding a little sponge in their fingers while they write. Stabilo pencils also work quite well. Games that encourage pincer or tripod grasps like opening and closing clothes pegs or tweezers can also help develop a child's grasp of a pencil. Sorting small objects into different colored bins can also help develop that pincer grasp and therapeutic exercises can help develop strength in the hand for holding a pen or pencil.